Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to take a look on other examples of use effect like all the other different use case where we can uh, use use effect hook. Okay so what we are going to do is uh, we will see a simple example. Before that we will have a quick recap what use effect hook is and how we are using it. So in this example you see this use effect it looks fine there is no any problem whenever any change is happening in this component use effect hook will trigger as it is it is made of two two life cycle methods component did mount and component did update so after initial rendering it will trigger and whenever there is any state update is happening then also it will trigger but what can be the mistake which we can do and we end up having like a use effect being called inside a loop right so never so this is a basic simple example where we are not doing anything inside use effect but what if you are updating state here and you are not passing any dependency so there is nothing like this dependency here you are doing a state update like consider that you are calling set count and you are updating the count to something count plus one then what is the problem which you will end up having is use effect will trigger after render then you are calling set count you have updated the state so it will again come back it will execute it so it will just run inside a loop so if you are doing any kind of a state updation inside use effect hook then always try to put a dependency so that this method will execute only once and then if you want it to execute this again then only it will happen only based on the dependency you are passing if that particular state is getting updated like count now there can be another method on click set count this so when you keep clicking on to this this count is getting updated right then it will check the previous count and the current count only if it says okay count has been updated then only it will execute this use effect logic okay otherwise if you are not if you are not passing any dependency then it will execute after every change you are doing in the state okay but if you wanted to restrict it either pass the empty dependencies means render this execute this only once when your component is initially rendered then same as component did mount it will execute only once if you are not passing any dependency it will execute also after uh, every changes but if you are passing dependency with empty means it will execute only once not after updating anything because it will actually see okay dependency is in empty so we don't we it will not going to render but if you are passing a dependency that dependency is getting changed then it will execute okay so the thumb rule is never update a uh, state inside a use effect if you are not passing a dependency here okay okay so in this example what we are doing is uh, we are trying to just understand two different aspects of react here we you can see we have a three components top middle and bottom okay top middle and bottom top component is rendering middle middle is rendering bottom if you just see these components running this is how it look like i will just reload this Now you can see bottom rendered, middle and top rendered. So top is rendering middle, middle is rendering bottom. So first of all, the render function of the bottom will execute and the use effect will trigger, right? Use effect is executing after render has been triggered of the JSX, then bottom, then middle, then top. So initial, this is the initial rendering. Now, when you are updating, when you are doing a click on top, it there is an on click method. You see there is on click method which is updating the count okay if you are updating the count state is getting updated this use effect will trigger after the initial after the render happens so it is rendering the middle then middle is rendering the bottom so again when you click on it bottom will render first then middle then top okay what if you are clicking on to the middle then middle bottom is getting rendered then middle if you are clicking on to bottom only bottom is getting rendered Right, it's like a hierarchy. If parent component is getting re-rendered, then it will render a child. 
if child component is rent, re, getting re-rendered then there is nothing else apart from that bottom right this is the child most component so nothing will re-render okay so this is the basic aspect and how we are doing it here how why we are able to see these messages coming because whenever the component re-renders after that this use effect will trigger if you are not passing a dependency then every change in the component it will trigger this use effect so whenever this any of the component re-renders after rendering is done it will actually execute use effect as there are no dependency being passed okay what is the other use case of uh, having this dependency in the use effect hook what else we can track we, we can track the state okay there is some kind of a state based on the state i will actually uh, call this method if count is getting increased when you click on it then i will actually execute this top render use effect hook okay you can actually up, uh, trigger the use effect hook when there is a change in the props so if the parent props is coming something and in the next sequence if you are receiving the new props then you can use use effect hook and can update something so i, I will try to show you one example uh, instead of writing it i will just directly put it export default demo is the root component so here we have a demo here we have a count one and count two and on these methods we are updating the count one and count two. okay and in this is a child component of this demo component and here we are passing count one and count two in the a and b props so in child component now if you see uh, how it is going to work so currently we see we got two props a0 b0 a1 b1 right now uh, let me just re reload it and see here we are passing count one and count two in the form of a and b so whenever new props are being passed so it is dependent on a it can be dependent on b also so there are two props we are receiving if uh, if a is getting changed then do this if b is getting changed value of b changed to b i mean value of a and b changed to a comma b we are tracking both the properties so use effect hook we can also use it uh, for checking the props earlier props was what if we are getting any of the new props out of a and b we will trigger this use effect hook okay something like this so here we clicked on it so a and b 10 so 20 30 you keep clicking on to it now 44 four, right so any of the props is getting changed we have passed two dependency a and b so any one of them is getting changed use effect hook will trigger now this is another use case you can also keep keep a kind of a watcher on the props we are receiving so it is also acting like a component will receive props right so you see the see the power of this use effect hook it, it can be used for anything it can track the changes happening on the state property like here you have some kind of a state which is getting updated or you can also pass some kind of a props like see here i have a const c comma set c and here i have this zero so what if this value of c is getting changed then also it will trigger then a b comma c something like this right so you can track either the props we are receiving if the new props are coming it will trigger you can track any particular state property which internally inside a component you are changing then you can track it okay it's just a matter of dependencies whatever the dependency it's like a watcher for your component and the the variables which are keep changing based on that if you wanted to do something then use effect hook is the appropriate one which we can use okay thanks everyone